everybody welcome back to the channel i am Britt, creator of the style shaker your guide to greener cleaner beauty skincare and more i try it out for you so you know what to buy and more importantly what not to buy today i'm talking all about the osmia purely simple face cream i'm gonna get right to it so stick around and here we go if you've been finding these reviews helpful and you want to see more of them don't forget to like this video subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a thing Few little clicks like that by the way huge help over here so thank you for supporting the channel and keeping it going all right the osmia purely simple face cream so simple so simple i have a full scorecard for this with all the details on it and more back on the site link below if you want to check that out in this video i'm going to do the condensed version so you're going to hear the pros the cons and my final verdict i'm going to go fast so hold on tight let's get started with the pros <laughs> The consistency of it, it's not super duper lightweight and it's not heavy or greasy. It is right in the middle and it feels very moisturizing. So the texture of it is one that I love. It went onto the skin, partially melted in, and you could still feel it a little bit on top. I mentioned that because the second pro here is that this little lotion gives such a great moisturizing glow. It hung out even though I put powder foundation on top of it. I've tried a bunch of different moisturizers, tinted moisturizers, things like that. This just gave a glow that I don't see all that often. I don't know why, but it did. It's created specifically for sensitive reactive skin. You can see in all the reviews that a lot of people have said, wow, I have really highly sensitive skin. I have perioral dermatitis. There's there's nothing I can use but this I can use. It is your simple face cream, but it's really good for people that need moisturization without the irritation. Asian, Asian, Asian. I'm rhyming. So the pump keeps it airtight as well. So when you pump it out, you're not getting a lot of air going back in there, contaminating the formula. You don't have to touch it. I also think that's kind of another pro, just a bonus adding it in there. Cons. <laughs> this is a plastic container on plastic, trying to avoid plastic, not happy about it. There are no refills available. I haven't seen a lot of face creams that have refills available, but if you are a subscriber, then you know that that's the direction I'm headed in. There is a listing on the ingredient list here that says a proprietary blend. I like full transparency above everything. The pump that I mentioned, which is so great because you don't have to use your hands and dip them into the product and ruin things in there, a little bit goes a very long way here. So sometimes if you press down a little too hard, you get more of a nickel size. I just needed a, the size of a pea. I found myself using more products than I wanted to and I really like this product so I didn't want to go through it all that fast. So it's just nitpicking but pump was a little bit touch sensitive. Um, $60, that's the other con. It is a high price tag for people who need something that's not going to bother their skin and they need quality ingredients and things like that. You usually end up spending a little bit more and in investing. Budget is personal. And the last con for my oily skin types out there, remember that glow I just talked about? It might just be too much shine and glow on your face and it might mess with the application of other products that you put on top. The final score on the scorecard back on the site is a 22 out of 30. My final verdict, would I buy this again? I really wish this wasn't a plastic container. I really wish refills were available. If those two things were not an issue, then yes, yeah. I would buy this again. And there is something that this does to my face that gives it a luminosity and a glow that I haven't found elsewhere. I am a very big fan of it. I just wish the packaging was better. And that's what I think. What do you think? Have you tried this? Are you going to try it? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And I'm gonna go try out some more products in the test kitchen. I will see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, bye.